more time because if you look at the ticket sales, the numbers, they're not making the numbers right now. And there's a lot of concern about whether or not or, or talk about whether or not the team should remain there. Sure. Do, do, do we need time for the city to recoup itself? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, it just takes a little time, a little patience. They have a great team, they have fantastic young players down there. And uh, it's going to take a little time to really get back uh, to what it was, but it will. All right, so let's talk about this trade. I want you to know, I was in Phoenix, okay, for the Super Bowl, and everybody, all everybody was talking about on Friday <laughs> was the trade. It was like yeah. the number one topic. All right, you got Pau Gasol. What do you tell me about this? Was this one of the greatest midseason trades ever? I think it's got to rank up there. Yeah, you know, we're, we're very excited about it. I mean, this guy is uh, he's extremely versatile. He fits perfectly into the system and the structure that we operate out of offensively. And, uh, you know, he's an unselfish player and extremely, extremely talented. We're, we're just looking forward to having him. I'm looking at the lineup here, right? Obviously, Bynum will be back hopefully mid-March. You got Bynum, you got Odom, you got you, you got Powell, yeah. Fisher. And, oh, there is an outside shot of maybe a Jason Kidd. What do you think? Well, you know, Jason and I, we've played together this summer on the uh, USA team, and uh, we had such a fantastic time. And uh, he's the greatest point guard I've ever, ever played with. And, uh, you know, he's just amazing. So are we going to see the L.A. Lakers go up against the Boston Celtics in the finals? You because be like, <laughs> David Stern, they'll be like, oh, my God, he'll be having you know, a heart attack. As, as a kid growing up, I always wanted to be a part of that rivalry, you know, and uh, well, minus the short shorts, obviously. You, know, you don't want to do that. Uh, <laughs> but I just wanted to be part of that tradition, and, and hopefully we can get back to that point and, uh, and have this Lakers-Celtics thing again. I got to ask you the question that you know everybody wants to know, and I hope this has cemented it with this trade and maybe Jason Kidd trade. Are you going to be an LA Laker for the rest of your career? Well, I'm extremely happy. I, I think the moves that they've made have shown uh, not only myself but the city of LA that they're committed to winning and they're committed to excellence right here and right now, and uh, I couldn't be any happy with that. All right, so before we go here, I brought this little mini basketball because I told you I have three boys, and I, I was actually an old city basketball player. I'm, I'm sure, but I was uh, I was a shooter. Hey, you know, like you. Okay, you so, just, so show me some tips, like here. Like, well, what's the, it all the about? different ways to follow through. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, growing up, I used to follow through with these two fingers, so I had kind of that follow through. Like this. Like that. Okay. So you're kind of using these two fingers as guidance. You see the pinky kind of. And these guys kinda, are on the outside. See so the pinky kind of flares out a little bit. Okay, gotcha. Now, now show me where it has it changed. It's changed a little bit. I'm okay, going to more of a, a feathery touch. Okay, and let me see. The feathery touch is kind of. That one right there. So you're kind of using your index finger as guidance. Ah. Yeah, it's things that people really don't pay attention to too much. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm paying attention to it because bit, I'm but. seeing you in those stats with the 40 <laughs> plus points and getting close to Will Chamberlain and the stats here. You're pretty close, huh? Oh, uh, yeah, thank you, thank you. Now, a lot of it has to do with luck, too, so. You're a great guy, Thank and you. you're so handsome. Thank you oh so much. Oh, my goodness, I'm seriously <laughs> blushing. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, and good luck tonight against the Nets. Thank you. All Thank right. You. Well, Brian's Nike Zoom Kobe 3 is part of a four-year, $45 million endorsement deal. He signed with Nike in June of 2003, and wow, I'm looking forward to seeing him in the finals. All right, stay tuned. Money for Breakfast is on its way. We'll be right back.